Finally, substantive representation refers to the extent to which the votes cast by members of Congress reflect the preferences of their constituents. Do members of Congress act as instructed delegates or trustees of the people? The instructed delegate role suggests a legislator who gauges the opinions of his or her constituents before he or she casts a vote on a legislative issue. A true instructed delegate would poll constituents before every vote and then base his or her vote in Congress on the instructions provided by the constituents. Many people are skeptical that it is even feasible for members of Congress to operate under this model. Although I think that in the age of the internet and electronic communications it might be logistically possible. Even if no members of Congress always act as delegates of their constituents, we must acknowledge that at times they do, perhaps more often than we like to believe. Clearly members are more likely to act as delegates on issues that they believe the constituents will hold them accountable for on election day. The trustee role suggests a member who takes the position that she or he does not have to poll the constituents before he or she votes. This type of legislator feels free to cast votes according to his or her own conscience because he or she believes that the constituents elected him or her because they trust his or her judgment. Most political scientists contend that few representatives are purely delegates or trustees, so they have concocted a third role, called a politico, to denote a representative who sometimes seeks instruction from the constituents and exercises his or her own judgment at other times.